What is pharmacology? Um, I think most people confuse with pharmacy at first. <laughs> uh, Usually end up describing it as the part before you get your drugs to spend at the pharmacy. We're more interested in how the compounds work at a molecular level. So we're interested in how drugs interact with receptors, uh, the mechanisms by which they produce the therapeutic effect. If you've got a sore head and you take a, an aspirin tablet, then a pharmacologist might want to understand what that aspirin tablet does once it gets dissolved in your stomach and once it goes into your bloodstream. How is it that that aspirin that gets into your bloodstream gets rid of your headache? And pharmacology is a study of how that aspirin affects neurons, affects sensory neurons, so it's all really about how drugs work. The main aspect of pharmacology is to use the right drug at the right time to the right person. As a pharmacology professor told me once, every drug has an effect you know and one you don't. And part of making pharmacology relevant is learning how to make drugs safe, how to make them effective for only children, only adults, whatever we need. The aim is patient safety. That's, that's the overall aim. And it's not like one single role, it's a collective role. And clinical pharmacologists are involved in several steps, not only themselves, but liaising with other, other health professionals in order to ensure patient safety with medications. I've been a pharmacologist now for about 30 years, and I, my passion for pharmacology hasn't changed in that time. It's really about the discovery of new medicines and drugs and how you take drugs from preclinical to the clinical stage. I think the new generation coming through now of pharmacologists have got a very bright future. The pharmacology course is very popular. Of the, the four, what we call the degree group C courses, the pharmacology is usually the most popular of the four courses, so I do think that uh, it does attract people. If you're innovative and come up with, like, different techniques and if you kind of have that mindset you're able to come up with a potential new drug and then go on to develop that further. You need courage. It's the anomalies which are the exciting things. Don't hide under the carpet something that doesn't fit what you predicted when you started the experiment. Always look and follow up with courage, anything that doesn't fit established doctrines, that's very exciting and important. Thank you very much for your attention.